everything is planable, not everything is going to be honky-dory in the next 20 years. I'm not saying it is going wrong tomorrow, but we have to realize it's not a given that we are in peace. Hmm. Peace through strength, you might say, is missing as the strength is waning of NATO. A senior NATO officer warning that a major war with Russia is a real potential. And let's just take a quick tour of the world if it's not between us and Russia. Russia and Ukraine continue their war. Hamas and Israel are still fighting. Hezbollah to Israel's north threatens to make things more exciting. The Iranian-backed Houthis continue to fire on U.S. Navy ships. Iran itself fired on the U.S. consulate in Iraq. Iran and Pakistan bombed each other. And then the Chinese are getting frisky with Taiwan. General Phil Breedlove's here, former Supreme Allied Commander of NATO. General, pull back the, the curtain for us for a minute. I feel as though that admiral, I think he's a Dutch admiral, wouldn't have said that if he wasn't trying to deliver a message. That wasn't just an off-the-cuff remark. No, it wasn't. Rob is the uh, chairman of the military committee. He leads the the military thinkers in the political headquarters. And to his right was Chris Cavoli, who is the commander of uh, NATO troops um, in, in Europe. And so th these are serious words. And I think that uh, there's a lot here to talk about. Help us understand what that warning means. Does that mean that deterrence, that American-led peace through strength uh, has gone away and now the world's, the world's bad men see an opening? Well, I think that deterrence has lessened, and here's the way I would describe it. I do believe that Mr. Putin understands what a NATO nation and a NATO boundary is. But I think outside of NATO boundaries, Mr. Putin believes is fair game. I mean, we said over and over, our senior most leaders in the beginning of this war, that we would defend every inch of NATO. What is the message to non-NATO nations for Mr. Putin? So I believe that our conventional deterrence has declined outside of NATO states, but I still believe we have relatively strong deterrence inside NATO. So you, I understand why NATO is so important. And look, Russia is another nuclear power. And you can imagine if, if there's force on force and we have to defend NATO borders, then how combustible that would be. But you say d deterrence is waned outside of NATO borders. Put Mr. Putin in a box for just a second. I think about the Ayatollahs in Iran. Think about North Korea. You think about the Chinese. The Iranians now have shot down one of our one of our drones, a, a Reaper that was over Iraq. These are all small things, but it feels to me as though the world is no longer scared of America. And I'm wondering how you restore that deterrence, which is a political thing, not a military thing, or starts politically. So I describe almost the same thing, just a, a little bit different way. People ask me all the time, we have a strong Chinese... Uh, uh, policy. We have uh, these policies about North Korea, uh, you know, and these are well understood. And I point out that no matter what we write, what we do is more important. You remember your mother used to say that to you. People don't care what you say, they're going to watch what they do. And here we are, I tell people every day that our Chinese policy is being written in Ukraine. Our North Korean policy is being written in Ukraine, and our 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 uh, Houthi policy, and more importantly, Iranian policy, is being written in Ukraine. And what the world is seeing is that the West is backing off in Ukraine. We rewarded bad behavior in 2008 in Georgia. We rewarded bad behavior in 2014 in Ukraine. And we're on the verge now of possibly rewarding bad behavior one more time in Ukraine. So once again, our policies are being written on the ground in Ukraine. General, uh, my mother was correct, and you are correct as well. Uh, it's sobering when you put it in, in that way. And as a man who sat there and, and looked at the war plans and uh, knows the players, uh, it's, a, it's something we need to pay attention to. General, it's good to have you back on the program. We appreciate the thoughts, sir. Thank you.
And we invite you at home to be part of this conversation. Sign up for War Notes. That is our daily newsletter. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.